In this video, we are going to check how to create a service to automatically resize images and add a watermark to those images. You can create these kind of services through Automator. You can find Automator in your other folder or you can search it through Spotlight. As soon as you search Automator, you will get it as a top hit. Now, we, what we want to, do, want to do is we want to create a service. Just select service. We want to change a size of images. So we are going to receive image files. So select image files in any application so that this service will be available for any kind of image files. Now the first thing which we want to do is we want to copy the finder item. So whatever image file we are passing to this service, we want to copy it so that we don't make any alteration to the existing file. You can select any path here. This action will take input an image file and will give an output a copy of that file. So now what we can do is we can go to the photos here and select our ima uh, actions. The first one which we will select is fit images. I am selecting fit images because I have the pixelometer. If you don't have this app, you can select scale images and this will also do the similar functions. Fit images, this action has a better option in terms of uh, you can specify the width, height and you can scale it proportionally. Once your image is, uh, size has been changed to this, what we need to do is we need to select change type of images. You can select which type of image it needs to be like I want all of my images to be changed to JPEG. So I will select JPEG format. This will actually take that output of fit images and will change the type of that. And then we have this watermark images action which can be add on top of it. Here you can drop any image. I am going to show you an example. So like I have my make web world icon which I want to drop here and this will be become my watermark image and I want this location to this watermark to be applied. So what will happen is it's going to take the changed image and it's going to apply this watermark at this location of that image. So now let's see how we um, just save this service and you can give any name to it like change images and uh, and your service has been saved which you can access through any location. Now let's see how we can use this service. You can go to any image file like I have one of the image file here and right click on it and select services and you will see your saved service in there just click on that and you will see that all the actions has been performed and you have a new image which has a watermark on it if I just uh, open it it's on the size which I have selected with a watermark and with a JPEG type so everything is done automatically with a single right click so if you do it regularly you can create the service and use it for your benefit Hope this tip will increase your productivity. If you like this tip and want more tips like this, just subscribe to Make Web World YouTube channel.